Yeah. Okay. So no hate to this commenter whatsoever. Um, it hasn't even been 24 hours since the debate wrapped up. 24 hours ago, we were about 30 minutes into the debate. Donald Trump got his ass kicked because Donald Trump didn't prepare because the people that Donald Trump put in charge of his debate prep were Tulsi Gabbard and Matt Gates. And it's like when you take two complete morons and put them in charge of your debate prep and then barely participate in your debate prep because your ego tells you that you don't need debate prep, you're going to have a bad debate. Uh, especially when you're a narcissist and you have an ego like Donald Trump does. And Kamala Harris's team was like, hey, let's try something different that nobody else who has debated Donald Trump has tried before. Let's consistently go after him in terms of his ego, which is exactly what she did, which caused Donald Trump to completely unravel for 90 minutes. For 90 minutes, he just had this this anger, this like spittle anger and making all of his little faces and shit. And he kept coming back to crowd sizes. And it's like, he didn't talk about hardly any of the things that he wanted to talk about during that debate because he just kept taking every piece of bait, every single piece of bait that Kamala Harris was throwing out there. I've never seen anything like it. So now today starting last night, really, but throughout the course of today, the conspiracy theories have been coming. And one of the more prominent ones that I've seen from the MAGA chuds on this and on other apps is they've been showing close-ups of her earrings and saying that it was, you know, the was the equivalent of her having a little thing in her ear that people were talking to her through that and telling her how to answer the questions. She's twice elected as a district attorney, twice elected as a state attorney general, elected senator for the state of California. She's a former trial attorney, prosecutor. She's done jury trials. She doesn't need an earpiece, kids. She's more than smart enough to do this on her own, as she proved last night. Because it's like, you know, everybody on the right is like, well, how could a black woman possibly beat Donald Trump unless she was cheating? Because Donald Trump, for the last two months, has been saying that she's as dumb as a rock. And last night she went out and proved that she is dramatically smarter than Donald Trump. And she did it to his face. So that means it has to be some kind of a conspiracy. The debate moderators were 100% on Kamala's side. Uh, somebody gave Kamala the questions ahead of time, the debate questions ahead of time. Uh, you, you know, ABC News... Uh, should have their broadcast license pulled. I saw two, somebody from Fox News say that the two moderators should be arrested and charged for campaign finance violations for making an illegal campaign contribution to Kamala Harris. It can never simply be, he just lost. It can never be Occam's razor. He just lost because he's dumb and he didn't prepare and he has a massive ego. He just lost. It's always got to be some kind of a bullshit conspiracy with these people. It's amazing. Your candidate is stupid. And he lost. That's it.